peeps, Mr. Bone back at you, and it is once again Wild Eye Wednesday. And what we're going to talk about is Return to Splatter Farm. This is produced and directed by Mark Polonia and Jeff Kirkendall. Wild Eye Releasing. Polonia Brothers Entertainment presents Return to Splatter Farm starring Danielle Donahue, Nico Bryant, Mel Heflin, Marie Lorenzo, De Lorenzo, James Kelly, and Jeff Kirkendall as Jeremy. Jeremy has returned. Thirty years after the infamous Death Farm murders in rural Pennsylvania, serial killing is in season once more. A young woman and her friends descend upon the farm to party after discovering that she has inherited the land, but soon after, the strange occurrences and brutal murders begin again. A shocking sequel to the 1987 SOV cult classic Splatter Farm. This stars Daniel Donahue as Liz, who inherited the farm. Splatter Farm. The only other character I, I can remember his name is Marie De Lorenzo as Liz, who loves to drink. She's always got a beer in her hand, always talking about needing another beer. You get a group of like five friends in a van. Your normal recipe for slasher flicks, like Texas Chainsaw and X and 31. Lots of movies start with friends in a van going to a place and uh, I guess she inherited this place where there was murders years ago 33 years ago I think I said when the movie came on 33 years ago there was murders and 33 years later they haven't stopped but anyway Jeremy's there and he's just like a he's not a scary looking slasher like Jason or anybody he's just like a nerdy looking balding dirty blonde haired guy he likes to disembowel people and smile while he's doing it. And this has lots of cool death effects. There's one scene where one of the girls decides to mess around with one of the neighbors. She's sitting on some kind of barrel. Jeremy walks in with, like, with a scythe. I think that's how you say it. And swings it and cuts both their heads off at once. There's all kinds of cool effects like this picture. And, uh, yeah, it's just a gory good time. It has an awesome theme song, like a ska punk theme song. Return to Splatter Farm. And that's about all I got to say about that. It's a pretty damn cool movie. I'm going to have to check out the original. Peace.